Hello and welcome. I am Gimba Umar. Tonight, Inspector General of Police orders overhaul of security on highways in the southern part of the country, vows to ensure killers of Funke Olakuri, daughter of a Penny Ferry leader, Pa Ruben Fajuronti, are apprehended. Prominent Nigerians expressed outrage over the killing of Funke Olakuri as Governor Kayode Fayemi and former Governor Olusha Gumbiniko call for new strategy and political will to end insecurity. And battle senator representing Adamar North blows hearts on security situation as gunmen attack his home, kill uncle and abduct his stepmother. And suicide bombers attack hotel in southern Somalia, kills at least 26 people including a prominent journalist and several foreign. On business news tonight, economic analysts forecast mixed inflation rate expectations for the month of June ahead of official data from the National Bureau of Statistics on July the 14th. And on sports news tonight, Romania's Simona Halep beats former world number one Serena Williams 6-2 and 6-2 to win first Wimbledon title. The murder of Mrs. Fuke Olakuri, daughter of the leader of the pan yoruba social cultural organization, Apeni Ferry, Chief Ruben Fashoranti, by armed bandits, is still generating concerns across the country. Today, the Inspector General of Police issued a directive for the deployment of special forces to key highways in the, southwest, in the southwestern part of the country to replicate the special operation Puff Ardor, currently ongoing along the Kaduna Abuja Expressway. Mr. Muhammad Adamu also directed the Ondo State Police Command, backed by special forces and seasoned investigators from the Force Criminal Investigation Department, the Intelligence Response Team, and the Technical Intelligence Team, the TIU, from the Force Headquarters, Abuja, to begin a massive manhunt for the killers. The police chief is also promising that the killers of Mrs. Funke Olakuri will certainly be found and made to face the full weight of the law. And while the president is promising the security operatives will spare no effort in apprehending the killers of Mrs. Funke Olakuri and bring them to justice. President Muhammad Buhari made a promise today when he made a phone call to the father of the deceased and the leader of the Afeni Ferry. The president condoled with the grieving nonagenarian, wishing him the comfort of God and the fortitude to bear the great loss. On his part, the former Vice President El Haji Atiku Abubakar has called on the security agencies to launch a thorough investigation into the killing of Mrs. Funke Olakuri, with a view to bringing the perpetrators to book and stem the insecurity in the country. Mr. Abubakar, who reacted to the news of the death of, uh, of the death on his Twitter handle, also describes it as one too many. He said there must be a stop to the killings adding that everything possible must be done to bring peace to Nigeria. In the meantime, Nigerian statesman and leader under the aegis of Top Pan Nigerian Group, the pro-national conference organization, PRONACO, and the Project Nigeria Movement have condemned the killing of Mrs. Funke Olakori and called for an urgent national political dialogue. Describing the murder as dastardly, wicked and ungodly, both groups say that the murder is unacceptable and unbearable, as it is capable of aggravating the already tense situation in the southwest and foist unwanted civil strife on the country. The group is asking President Muhammad Buhari, the chairman of the Governor's Forum, Governor Kaede Fayemi, and Ikiti State and national leader of the ruling All Progressives Congress, Bolatinabu, among others, to urgently put a strong machinery in motion for national political engagements to prevent a breakdown of law and order. PRONACO is a pan-Nigerian movement initiated under the leadership of the late Chief Anthony Nahoro and the Nobel laureate Professor Wole Shoinka to find solutions to the nation's challenges. While Project Nigeria Movement is a coalition of civil society groups led by respected senior advocate of Nigeria, Ben Wabweze. Staying with security matters, gunmen have killed an uncle to the embattled senator representing Adamar North in the National Assembly. Senator Elisha Abbo and abducted his stepmother from his home in Adamar State. 
The Adamo State Police spokesperson confirmed the incident to Channels Television, explaining that security operatives have been deployed to track the attackers. Senator Abbo, who has been in the news for assaulting a nursing mother in Abuja, also told journalists in the nation's capital that security personnel must do more to secure the lives of Nigerians. They are not doing enough. The government needs to stand up. The government of Nigeria has sworn to protect life and property of Nigeria. It's the number one thing. Kidnapping that is taking place in my community today, the kidnappers set up a camp just a few kilometers into the bush. And the kidnappers are there in their camp. Nobody ever approached them. We have a very big army barracks in Mubi. We have a mobile police base in Mubi. Of what use is the mobile police base while they cannot move one, two kilometers into the forest, into the bush, to actually confront the kidnappers? Of what use is the army barrack if kidnappers can set up a camp just stone throw from the village and nobody approach and nobody actually challenge them? The kidnappers are there. Community vigilante know the camps. Hunters know the camp. The military know where the camp is, but nobody is approaching the kidnappers. They go into the community, kidnap people, ask for ransom, and use the ransom to actually finance terrorism in the country. The Kano State Police Command, Operation Puff Ada, has recovered the body of a five year old pupil who was kidnapped and drugged to death by a three man kidnapping gang. The State Commissioner of Police, Ahmed Ilyasu, said that the suspects, under 30 years of age, initially demanded a ransom of 15 million naira from the parents of the child before eventually stuffing the victim with drug overdose while anticipating funds delivery. Our correspondent Ibrahim, that will be Idris Jibrin, reports. This uncompleted building is not a cemetery, but it turns out to be one for five-year-old Ahmad Adu. Ahmad was reported to have been kidnapped from his school and was brought to this building where a ransom negotiation was initiated. The victim was eventually overdrugged. Suspects confess to have overdrugged the victim, used some certain uh, injections, some drugs, to inseminate into his, his body, which subsequently led to the death of the victim and he was buried in an uncompleted building where we have just dug out the cops. These children celebrate the arrest of the kidnappers of their friend. But late Ahmad parents and relatives could not hide their emotions after seeing the cuffs of their child. Salut. <laughs> They first demanded 50 million naira. Later, they came down to 20 million naira. Then, 10 million naira. As we kept negotiating, they came down to 600,000 naira. Then, 200,000 naira. Surprisingly, however, Ibrahim, who mastermind, the kidnap is my wife's brother. It is still not known why some humans are inclined to hurt the people they love. Criminals are constantly changing their modus operandi. And criminals have no signs, they have no mark, they have no plate number or registration number. Ahmad Ado is dead while the suspects are in custody. It is the hope of the parents that justice will be served in accordance with the law of the land. It raised your brain. Channels Television News. In part two, after the break, President Buhari challenges the military on requisite skills in tackling contemporary security challenges, insists terrorism must be defeated in West Africa. <laughs>